Hi friends, today I am going to tell you about some more attributes in the image tag. Already, already you know about the image tag. Image tag and the here in the SRC we are going to mention the we are going to represent the path of the image. Next, we can mention height and width also. Height is equal to something. I am giving 500 pixels, and the width is 500 pixels. Now save it and check the output. Yes, now you are getting the image. Now the one more attribute that we can use in the image is SRC set. In this SRC set, what we can do is we can mention the number of images. We can list out the number of images. On the desktop, what are the images I have is I have the images are a dot jpg, b dot jpg, ds dot jpg, c dot jpg. Now what I am doing is at here in the SRC we can represent the list of the images and now what I am doing is and we can mention the width also already here we have mentioned the a dot jpg that's why here what I am doing is I am using b dot jpg after I give some space and mention the width how to mention with the word w here the w means width and again give comma after give space if you don't if you forget the space you will not get the output you will not get the perfect output that's only again give space and type c dot jpg and the next image is space ds dot jpg if you want to mention the width you can mention the width here what I am for this C what I am doing is I am mentioning 300 the width is 300 400 WMSV point width now refresh the page if you observe here you are getting DS what it is doing DS is 400 the width is 400 what is doing automatically it will select the image from those all images from the list of images what it is doing it is selecting the images from the list of images it is selecting the image if you mention src and here if i mention 1x save it okay now ds.jpg i am giving 2x We're not getting any difference. 500 width saved. What is doing? It is accepting this. Thing. It is selecting this image. By using the SRC cell, what is doing? It is selecting the image from the all images. And next attribute that we can use in the image tag is sizes. Image tag is sizes. I don't want to give more images. I have no image. We two images are enough. Next. Here, what I am doing is I am using one more attribute that is sizes. Sizes. What it allows the user to to write the media queries. Here, what I am doing is I am writing. In the double quotation, what I am when the minimum width is double added touch when the minimum width is 600 pixels. When the minimum width is 600 pixels, then it will apply those styles that uh, 200 pixels, comma. Here I am writing 50 
VW. Here the VW means viewpoint. The image will be 50 pixels wide. The image will be 50 to 200 pixels wide. Refresh the page. Still you are getting same output. The minimum width is 600 pixels. Here if you observe here you are not getting any output. TVW 200 pixels the minimum width is 600 here what I am doing I am now I am removing height and width delete now save it refresh the page it is decreased why it is decreased to 200 pixels by default what it is doing it is applying the height and width which are given in those things if I delete then it is applying those styles if the minimum width is 600 pixel then now what i am doing is i am decreasing the size yes. here now i am using 1x what is doing again it is selecting other image which is in the b.jp by SRC set, what is doing? It is selecting the image randomly. Refresh the page and I am decreasing the width. It is changed. I mean, if you observe it is changed. When I decrease the size, I am not doing anything. By default, it is like this. By default, it is like this. When I decrease, the width what is doing it is changing to ds yes. you are getting this image which is in 1x 1x means the default one if i use 2x you will get the off of the size you will get off of the size on that image now again now what i am doing i am using 3 now what you will get one third of that image you will get one third of the size in the image. Next, this is image SRC. Here you are not it. Here I will if I use maximum width max. Save it. Here still you are reading the same output. Fifty percent view point match. Save it. No, you are not getting any image because of this error. Because of that error, you are not getting any image. Why because we forget to mention the double quotations. Now we are getting that image, one third of that image. Okay. Here what I am doing is now again I am doing it, make it. I am making it 400 W, 400 width. You refresh the page. You are writing big one, bigger one. You are writing bigger one. Decrease, decrease. It is decrease. When the maximum size is 600 pixels, what is happening? It is decreased to 200 pixels. It is decreased to 200 pixels. It is applicable when you mention the width only. When you mention 400 W width, 400 white, then only here the W means white. When you mention W, then only it is work. If you mention 1x, it will take the default size. That's why only better to use white. When you are using, when you are using maximum width, when you are writing any query in the sizes, better to use white. Better to mention the size in the white. This is image attributes. 
Next we are going to see about the Next we are going to see about table tag. Already you know what is the table? Already you know what is the table? Now what I am doing is I am dividing that table into three parts. First one is table header. Table table header and the second one is table body the second one is table body and the third one is table footer table footer how to mention those tags in our table whatever the content you have in the table header you will get that content in the top rows whatever the content you have in the table footer you will get those content in the bottom rows now what i am doing i am executing that one first create the table tabl table and close the table in the table what i am doing t head t head means table header the meaning of t head is table header in the i am writing everything in a simple manner I have only one row. I have only one row. Here, what I am doing is, I am writing just. I am writing two columns. TD. Okay, I will use TH. Table header. TH. In the TH, I am writing some ENGLI. Is it English? MR. Marks English marks. It's very easy to understand. Next th, I'm writing some max marks. Next close the th. Save it. The the table header is over. Next thing is we can write anywhere. Okay, table body. After table header, what you will get? You will get table body. If I write table foot for t foot. Open the table foot and close it. T foot. When I write T foot, what is the output you are getting? Check it. Table row. Here, what I am doing is, I am writing the total. I am keeping this thing in table header also, and I am going to use call span is to already you know what is a call span. Call span is equal to Two. Why we are using we are we are using call span to merge the two cells. Those are in the two columns. Next, here I am writing result. Result is is one. Okay. Result is equal to some five hundred. I am writing like this. Save it. Now refresh the page. I am closing this one. Refresh. You are writing the table like this. Both are in. First one is T head. After T foot, what I am I am now I am writing the T body. Table body. B O. D by body. Close T. D by body. In the body, what I am doing? I am creating the row T R and close the T R. In the table row, what I am doing? Again, I am writing td close td. The marks entered is 100, and the marks in the max is some 300. Close the td. Refresh. Where you are getting here? First, I am writing table header. Next, I am writing table footer. After that, you are, I am writing. At last, I am writing table body. But here, how you are getting? First, I will mention the border. Then you can understand. Border is equal to one. If I mention border, then you can understand easily. First, what I am doing? This first, I am writing table header. Next, I am writing table footer. At last, I am writing table body. But here, 
you are getting the content which is in the table header is first the content which is in the table footer is at last the content in the table body is in the middle now we can use one more tag or do you know or do you know the caption tag open the caption and close the caption in that caption i'm writing student details just i'm writing m u r k s marks save it refresh the page you are getting like now we have one more tag that is call group what i'm doing i am writing outside of the table is it correct c o l g r o u p call group and close the call group. in that call group what i am writing is columns sp sp a n span is equal to 2 next bg color is equal to will you get the output hmm? bg color is equal to red here what i am doing is i am giving bg color red why we are using call group we are using call group to mention the styles for the particular columns how many here you have in this span you have to mention for how many columns how many columns you are giving the styles if you refresh are you getting any or no why because we are applying these styles to the table but those are not table that's why we have tried those thing in the table control v save it now you are getting the styles in this span if i use one then you are getting only for the first row the seconds at last in the table footer what we are doing it have only one cell it have only one cell but it is occupying the space of two cells space of two cells that's it. now you can now understand call group to mention the number of columns by using this column we can apply the styles bg color if you want to apply styles for the particular columns we are using call group and call by we can use any list else it also style is equal to i will tell you this thing about later okay okay here we are applying styles for the first column now i want to apply the styles for the second column now what i will do is c will call space bg color is equal to by e l l o w l here i am writing like this now refresh the page it is applying the styles for the second column in this span here i am not using the attribute span but you are no but you are getting the output why because if you don't mention the span it will apply those styles to the all remaining columns it will apply these styles to the all remaining columns this is a simple table already you know now the table tag is over now the table tag is over next next what you are going to see is now we are going to see about the form tag sorry data list description list it's very easy description list it have a list items description list it has dl means description list in the description list it have a description term and description definition description First one description list. Definition list. We can call this DL as description list or definition list. It have DT definition term DT. In the DT, what I am writing is I am writing some HTML. Next, I am writing one more thing that is DD. Here you have to mention description about the definition. Def description or definition. about that term about that term here i am writing if you want to html is a hmm, html is a insensitive language the browser can understand only the html it is not a case sensitive language hmm? we are using html to represent data on the web page you can write anything about the html test m e r k w l n g here what i am doing i just simply i am writing 
hyper test mark of language save it refresh you are getting that one here what is this this is definition term and this is a description about the particular term next thing is here i am giving br in the dt you are getting like this that's why don't use br this one is the correct man okay this is description is very small and is just thing 